Hmm. How can I market my own channel? Ah, I know. Hey guys, we would love to share this to you on how to market your own channel. But before we start guys, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. Today, we will be sharing to you the best practices on what you can do to market your channel so that you can promote and spread it out there in the world. Without further ado guys, Freedom Quick Tips. These tips and best practices will not guarantee that you become famous in one day. But these tips and best practices will most likely get your channel noticed out there. With that being said, here are the tips. Number one, choose Google friendly keywords. To properly market your YouTube channel, you will need to have Google friendly keywords in your videos. In order for you to do that, you need to dabble in SEO, which is a whole different topic. You can search the internet on how to properly do SEO. As a best practice, you can follow these tricks to properly place your videos and place the best possible chance to be in the recommended section. Number one, in your title, place the most important keyword in front so that people and YouTube will know what your topic is all about. For example, check out our video titles on our MGN page. Number two, on your video description, try to mention, if it's relevant, the keywords as much as possible to get your chances on being recommended higher. Number three, place tags that are relevant to your videos. Number two, use concise and descriptive titles. Like we have discussed a while ago, your title and video description helps you to place your videos in the recommended page. With that being said, you need to be concise and the message in both your video description and title is well defined. If you're talking about a certain video game, you can put that video game on your title and video description. Number three, create custom thumbnails. We have covered a video on how to create a really compelling thumbnail. It is important to have these thumbnails so that your videos will stand out more and you will be able to customize your own thumbnail, creating a brand for yourself. Number four, optimize your descriptions. Optimizing your description is good. A way for you to optimize your video description is to always make it relevant to your topics. Do not put your tags inside your video descriptions. You should always put them in the tag section. And also don't overuse keywords in your video descriptions. Number five, don't forget about metadata. Now metadata is key to get your channel noticed and recognized by YouTube but do not overstuff it. You will only need tags that are relevant to your content. It will hurt your channel if you put in tags that are not relevant to you. And if you are honest with your tags, this provides YouTube with more clarity on how to properly place your videos. Number six, interact with your fans. Remember that we had made a video about community? Well, interaction does go a long way and a community for your channel is a really good thing to have. It allows you to make a dedicated audience that will continuously support and watch your videos. Number seven, try Q&A or question and answer. Creating a video for Q&A is a good idea to have as well. It will allow you to interact with your fans more because that's what they want. Your audience wants to be close with you in order to know you better and also it will let them know they are important to you. Besides, you won't be successful without them. Number eight, run contests. Running contests is like a Q&A as well. These are some of the contents you can make in order for your fans to know that they mean something to you and you want to give back to them. Number nine, respect community guidelines. This tip should always be in your mind. There will be no point in growing your own channel if you do not follow YouTube's guidelines. These guidelines help you from getting demonetized, suspended, or worse, get your channel terminated. We do not want that to happen to any of you, so please respect the community guidelines. Number 10, make playlists. For sure, your audience wants to keep watching your videos, and what better way for us to help them is by creating a playlist of all similar videos that you have. And that way, your audience will not be bothered to find your videos. They will just watch and let the playlist play itself. Number 11, add a call to action. A call to action will help you remind your audience to watch your videos, subscribe, comment, and whatever you want them to do to help your channel out. An example of this is what I always say in the intro and at the end of the video. Oh, by the way guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and g -g -g gong that bell. Number 12, find out what works and do more of it. You just need to get that grind and find out what are the content you can make that your fans will love to watch. Once you see that trend, 
you will be able to make similar videos with that kind of content. That's the episode, Freedom. I hope you guys like it. What's the tip that resonates with you most? And do you have tips for us? Let us know down below. Share this to a friend who is marketing their channel so that they can have a clear grasp on what to do. And before you leave, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and g -g gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, and bringing you the tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, Freedom, quick tips. See you on the next episode. Goodbye.